peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. I hope everybody doing well. Hope you blessed in a positive mood and spreading that impact on everybody that you come in contact with. Family, I must say this and I must say this now, man. Y'all need to stop listening to these scholars and conspiracy theorists that's sitting up here telling you all this bullshit. Saying that the 5G towers is responsible for giving people the COVID-19 virus. How stupid can you fucking be, sir, to sit up here and believe some dumb shit like that? Right in this session right here, I'm about to bring it to you and let you know that, yes, the 5G towers do cause health effects to people. But it's not the COVID virus. It's not the coronavirus. It's a whole entirely different system and network of diseases that you could catch such as being a tumor you guys already seen this in my previous video stating that the tumors will grow inside of men and women and that it was the radio frequency radiation that was the cause for all this i also showed you that the radio frequency rays um radiation excuse me is also responsible for ruining your for your frontal cortex being the front part of your brain that enables you to think coherently that enables you to assess a situation before you make any rash decisions i'm talking about the part of your brain that is responsible for keeping you moving in day-to-day -day life for giving you <coughs> excuse me guys for giving you the ability to assess situations that you may be in that can have an impact on your life and also an impact on another person's life. By me sitting up here telling you that you get a coronavirus from the fucking 5G towers, I feel that I'm doing a disservice to you. I feel that the people that's telling you these things are doing a disservice to you. Because that is not the case, family. I be ha it be having me feeling like sometimes, like like they purposely lead you guys the wrong way, so you won't be able to see the truth. The same thing that the media and all the news reporters are doing right now. They will lead you five miles out of the way of the true source of what you need to know in order to keep you blind. And I'm beginning to feel like some of these YouTubers on here that swear up and down that they be spreading that knowledge. I truly believe in my heart that they are doing the same thing. That they are truly leading you down a path of destruction to keep you blind and not realize what the government is doing. Now, everybody sitting up here talking about the COVID-19 is response, um, that is coming from the 5G towers, but nobody's talking about the simple fact that Trump just fired the man who outed him with the Ukrainian scandal that first got him impeached last year. These are things that you need to know. These are people that was in office trying to get a crooked person out of office and now that everything is going on and nobody's thinking about it, they hurry up and got him out of office. They got him out of everything. They, the, basically, it's like the COVID virus is basically a cover up so they could get read out so they could weed out all the bad apples inside of the bunch that's in the White House that's going to call Trump on the bullshit that he has created other besides the COVID virus because I told you in previous videos the COVID virus was not meant for America. It was not meant for the world. It was only meant for China. If you look at my um, videos, a few videos before this, and I also post them in the description, and you look at them, I break down the whole entire evidence of how the UN done funded China with over a hundred million dollars to what? Control the population. In that same video, I also showed you the Georgia guidelines, which states that the UN only wants the population of the earth to be at around 500 million. That's over 98% of the population that's around today being eradicated for a cause and for a person and people who want the world to themselves when the world was not meant for only just them. But right now, what we got right now is people saying that the 5G towers is the reason 
for the COVID virus, and I'm telling you, that is not the case. Do not believe them. They are leading you astray. Example. You already seen in my last video was before this. So if you're looking at this video right now, first of all, if you knew and you like this, make sure you hit that subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button because I'm dropping videos back to back. So if you new, subscribe if you like my page and show support, man. I'm trying to hit up to that 1000 mark. You get what I'm saying? But you see in the previous video that I just gave to you guys that I said that the that the I gave you the evidence that 5G's are basically here to do mind control and to be able to control people through their mind and through their frontal cortex so they won't be able to make positive decisions and they'll only make rash decisions and they'll go off impulse and they won't have no self-control. Here is further proof of that. Now if you if you not if you not up to date Go to my previous video that I just did about the 5G towers. That way you could get up to date. This is basically the second part to that. Slide one. Vari variability in the frontal temporal brain. Remember this, the front of your brain structure. The importance of recruitment of who? African Americas in neuroscience research. And white people, if you're looking at this, this is no disrespect to you. It's just the part of the brain and of science. If you understand science, you got to understand that science is in no means racist. It's the people who may make it that could be racist. But science in no way, the deep down rooted science, is not racist. It can only tell you findings. You get what I'm saying? Hold on, family. So I could be able to get this situated yeah okay variation in brain structure is both genetically and environmentally influenced the question about potential differences in brain anatomy across populations of differing race and ethnic ethnic ethnicity excuse me remains a controversial issue there are few studies specifically examining racial or ethnic ethnic differences and also few studies that test for race related differences in context of other neuropsychiatric research basically what they're telling you right here is that they're not getting as much different races to be able to give this study and to feel like they're accurate but they have to tell you their findings and findings can only be true in some cases Possibly due to the underrepresentation of ethnic minorities in clinical research. It is within this context that we conducted and secondary data analysts ev ev examining volumetric MRI data from healthy participants and compare it to the volumes of amygdala, hippocampus, lateral vi ventricles, caudate nucleus, orbital, where, what you just said? Orbital frontal cortex, OC, remember that, remember this, OFC, and total cerebral. Volume, but in total cerebral volume between what? Caucasian and African American participants. We discussed the importance of this finding in context of neuroimaging methodology, but also the need for improved recruitment of African Americans and clinical research and its broader implications of better understanding of neurobasis neuropsychiatric disorders. This was a case control study that in the setting of the academic, academic medical center outpatient service. Participants consisted of 44 Caucasians, remember this family, 44 Caucasians and 33 ethnic minorities. The following volumetric data were obtained. Amygdala, hippocampus, lateral ventricles, caudate nucleus, orbital frontal cortex, and total cerebrum. Each participant completed a 1.5T magnetic resonant imaging and our primary finding and our primary finding in analysts of the brain subregions was that when compared to Caucasians, 
African Americans exhibited what? Larger orbital frontal cortex volumes. If you know anything about science, if you know anything about the brain, if you think that I'm lying, matter of fact, I know some of y'all probably watch Young Pharaoh. Why don't you go ask Young Pharaoh this? If your OFC, your orbital frontal cortex, is smaller, that means you're more likely to be what? Like a schizophrenic. You can have OCD, obsessive um, control disorder, whatever the fuck that shit is, but you can't control yourself. This is if your orbital frontal cortex, your frontal lobe, your amygdala is small. If the volume of anything in your frontal cortex is small, that disables you from making rash decisions. What is the first rule of a 5G tower and what do radio frequency radiation rule? They fuck up your frontal cortex family. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if they fucking up your frontal cortex, that means you're not able to make good decisions. P for example, where is the orbital frontal cortex? The orbital frontal cortex is the area of the prefrontal cortex that sits just above the orbits, also known as the eye sockets. It is thus fun, found at the very front of the brain and has extensive connections with sensory areas such as limbic system, structures involved, and what? Emotion and memory, family. The orbital frontal cortex is a poorly understood area of the brain, but also one that inspires a great deal of interest for some of the roles of this hypothe hypothesized to play in higher order cognition like decision making. Indeed, the prefrontal cortex and frontal lobes in general are considered essential for rational thoughts, reasoning, and even the full expression of personality, thus much of the research into OFC, orbital frontal cortex, remember, has focused on the functions that seem especially important to the thought process. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, family? In order for them to mind control, why do you think that we had so many mass shootings? They're already letting you know. Why do you think that all the mass shootings are white people? Think about it. You got some other people mixed in here and there. But in a, I'm talking about in America, family. Why are the majority of the shootings white people? Why? Because they did a test and they seen that white males have a smaller orbital frontal cortex than African American males. So where do the majority of the shootings happen? They happen in where? The suburbs, school suburbs, where what are at? Towers, where the G towers are at, where they're already pumping out that radio frequency radiation into the kids, into the adults. That's why you see them go to their job and just start shooting. They, they be like, yo, I don't know how I did it. Because you make anything can trip them off. You got to think about it. You having a hard time at your job. Your job is about to lay you off or anything like that. This what enables a person, a, a, any person, any person would think like, let's say your boss is a is a is a pump and he's doing everything within his power to keep you down you, what employee hasn't thought of maybe punching a boss in the face it just happened that these people are in our in our a people gun towing people redneck motherfuckers who have to have the sense to not be able to differentiate if I kill a mass a group of people and myself before or not make the decision and just look for a different job or just or or just hold different feelings. The same thing about with people killing other people with race and stuff like that. You gotta understand the radio frequencies that's in the air are being pumped there to make you do rash things. And I'm talking to you, white people, and now I'm about to talk to black people. Why do you think that they're putting even stronger radiation waves in the air? Because your mind is so strong 
They're, they're not able to get you. You don't see a whole bunch of black kids going to the school, shooting up their school, or going to their job, shooting up their job. Why? Because black people have the conscience enough to think about the consequences that's going to happen after they do it. Either I'm going to jail or I'm going to be dead because they're going to shoot me down. You already got to worry about just walking down the street and getting shot by police. So your frame of mind thinking is going to be different than what a white person who doesn't have to go through that but maybe have a different problem where they feel that they could settle it out with violence. This is the entire reason why the orbital frontal cortex is being attacked, family. Because it's being enabled to keep you mentally discharged and not able to control yourself to where it comes to a point where the violence is so tough and so bad that the police and the army and the national guard had to work together in order to control you that implements martial law family and i'm not gonna hold you up because i got 50 million slides of this but i'm not gonna put that many up i just wanted to give you guys a concept of really what i'm talking about and give you some proof of why they are pumping this into your system so when these people sit up here and talk about oh 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 5g towers is meant for your health and um quote covid the COVID-19, they're wrong. Yes, it does hold terminal effects on you, as such as cancer. But that's been going on all the way since the microwave. That was going on back when the Mayans first witnessed a nuclear attack. What they're doing right now is a new form of the MK Ultra in order to control your mind. And I got facts that they're being put in. And I got other information showing you that they're putting stuff in your mind to make you think these things. But that's in another video, fam. Until then, stay blessed. Stay true to yourself. And peace to the gods, to the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. If you're new, like and subscribe. Let's hit that thousand mark. Because y'all already know the information that I'm going to bring you is fire. And I promise you, I'm doing this all for you guys. So until then, stay blessed.